Hey guys, Snappers Joe back again with another episode of Final Fantasy IV PC. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up the underground waterway, and we also defeated the Octomammoth. That's its name. It's fucking weird. Uh, I, I did say in the last episode I'd do some off-screen grinding, but I decided not to because I feel like you can become pretty overpowered pretty quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to continue on with what I've got. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, make our way to Damsian. Oh. Oh yeah, this happens. And then we were too late. Let's go fucking see what's happened. I hate how that music stops, by the way. If we go back outside, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. It's like this song of like urgency and you come in here and then it's all calm, but you can tell everything's gone to shit. What do you have to say? Nothing. Awesome. Anyone else? You. Nothing. Anything over here? No. <sighs> I'm gonna make you. They stole the crystal! Really? All I saw them do was bomb the castle. Airships and fire from the sky. We had no warning. Why would they warn you? Why would they do that? Take me upstairs to the healing urn. Someone, anyone. Oh, we could help you guys. But we're not going to. Airships and fire from the sky. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Did you crawl up here? To say that again? Nothing and nothing. What's in here? A tent! Oh man, you guys could really use that. Or actual medical attention. Both would be good. Uh, if... Ugh, what, was I, what the fuck was I going to say? That was a weird thing. If we talk to her, it's going to continue the cutscene. We're going to come over here. And we're going to talk to this. I believe this one heals your HP. It does! Free HP restore for free. And I think there's one on the other side that does MP. Is there? Yes. So you can grind outside this castle for ages and have free healing all the time. Uh, the only caveat is you have to walk all the way up here and talk to both those urns. But, uh, let's, uh, get cutscene. Anna! Oh, Anna! You, you're that bard! You're the one responsible for this! Yes, Teller, he's the one who bombed the castle and tried to kill your daughter. No, please! Oh, Teller. Now this is an automated battle, like I have no control over this, it's just going to go as slow as possible. Oh wow, two damage. You spoony bard! Please, things are not as you believe! Everything moves slowly in these automated fucking battles. There's nothing I can really do about it. And he's just going to continually beat him. I see quite well how they are. Do you? You haven't really asked any questions or done anything. I beg you, hear my words. I think, uh, I think the bard's right about this, Teller. I think you're acting pretty stupidly right now. Oh, critical hit. Did three damage. Choke on your words. Please, I implore you. Teller, I think you have to realize that he didn't bomb the castle. At all. Uh, know this pain. Anna's pain. But Anna and I... Edward, father, please stop this. I think we have an actual cutscene now. I'll shut up. Oh, Anna. There's life left in you yet. Father... Edward, he is the Prince of Dampsian. He disguised himself as a bard to avoid attention. Forgive me, Father, for running off with him. Edward, I'm in love with him, Father. But I could not stay without my father's blessing. I was about to return when... The Red Wings laid siege to us. Led by a man named Golbez. Golbez? Yes. 
A figure clad in armor of deepest night, his strength beyond that of mortal man. And the Red Wing's purpose? Our crystal. And then they rained fire upon us. I lost my mother and father. Then Anna tried to shield me from their arrows. You love this man that much? Father, please, forgive me. I was so selfish. Edward, I love you. Anna. Anna. Anna! This Gomez, tell me more of him. I've heard he came to Baron only recently. It seems he's using the Red Wings to steal crystals. Tears do not bring back the dead, boy. Anna's death must be avenged. I'll find this Gomez. Tella, not alone. She was not your daughter. Her killer will die by my hand. <gasps> Anna! <gasps> Coward! You're a man, aren't you? A grown man! Stop crying. I have. Rydia, you're right. I'm nothing but a coward, just as you say. That's why I'm just going to stay at Anna's side. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does! You're not the only one who's grieving. Anna would not wish to see you fawning like a fool. Please, I have desperate need of your help right now. But how could I help you? My name is Cecil. A friend of mine has taken ill with desert fever in Kaipo and needs a sand pearl if she is to live. And for that, I have need of your aid. You need my aid? I do. Rosa's life depends on it. I beg you. This woman you speak of, she means a great deal to you, doesn't she? As Anna did. As Anna did to me. In a cave far to the east dwells a monstrous creature known as an antlion. The pearls you seek form from the fluid the beast secretes as it lays its eggs in the sand. There is no overland route to its den. We must cross the northern shoals to get there. A hovercraft is docked here. With it, we can reach the creature's cave. It can bear us across the surf to Kaipo as well. Come. We must hurry. Farewell, my love. Okay, cutscene's over. Yeah, I'd, I've decided I'm just not gonna chime in during cutscenes anymore, because I guess that can be kind of annoying. When I was watching the episodes back, uh, I just felt it was unnecessary for me to chime in. It kind of ruins the cutscenes, so I'm just gonna... Every time there's a voiced cutscene, I'm just not gonna talk. So anyway, now we've got to head to the Antlion's Den. Um, funny story, I tried recording this before, and uh, I got completely lost, and all you have to do is come here, and then go to the right. And then there it is. And I got lost for like five minutes trying to find where to go. So I just ended up re-recording the whole episode. So let's hop out of this. And I'll with Cecil again, but let's go with Edward. Actually, let's just check out the party real quick. Because I'm pretty sure... Okay, good. Edward's in the back row. Uh, Edward sucks. Uh, he's not that good. Uh, he's also only level 9. And he's only... His only real good thing that he has is Bard Song. And he doesn't have that many good songs to begin with. Oh, he's got Lullaby, Sleep, Confuses, and Silence. He can get one that uh, heals the party, but doesn't get that for a while. And he's got Salve, which uses items, doesn't it? No, what the fuck? I'm in the wrong goddamn menu. <laughs> Uh, party... No... There's a way to check... Fucking abilities, is there not? To see what they do? Anyway, Salve lets you use an item on the entire party. Instead of just one, like using a potion on the entire party instead of just one ally. That's what Salve does. Anyway, we're gonna just be Edward through this dungeon. The Antlion's Den. I don't actually remember this dungeon too well. I know it's not too big. And wow, the game skipped a lot just then. 
spider silk. So I don't remember if there are any secrets, so I'm just gonna be hugging walls and shit. And our first random encounter already. Is it an admin toys? Uh, I'm not gonna darkness, just attack. I'm pretty sure everything in here is weak to blizzard. And... You can defend. Wow, he took a fuck ton of damage. That's not good. That's not good at all. And he's in the back row, which takes less damage from physical attacks. I guess it's because he's really underleveled that this is gonna be tough. Uh, what equipment does he have, actually? Edward... He's got the Feather Cat Bard's Tunic, which is alright. We've got nothing better for him, so... That sucks. Well, that's gonna... <laughs> that's gonna suck for a while. Uh, anything over here? No, there's not. And we've got another encounter. And it's four goblins! Uh, attack the leader. The... Domovoy? <laughs> uh, Edward can just attack, because his attacks... are basically like, uh... Arrows, kind of. They just, they... They're ranged attacks, so they work better from the back row than they do front. Although I don't know why you'd have Edward in the front row to begin with. Hopefully we can uh, level him up a bit too. There we go. Intellect up. Nice. But he's going to keep needing that more and more now that we don't have Teller. So yeah, we just swapped out Teller for Edward. Which is a terrible trade because Teller is really good and Edward's not. At all. Now, let's see. No secrets because there's no black wall there. That's cool. New enemy? No, it's an admin toys again. So Edward just leveled up, and he just learnt Life's Anthem, which it's under the abilities tab, please, right? Bard song, Bard song. Life's Anthem restores HP. Uh, I'm not sure if it restores HP to the entire party or just one person, but he has that now, so he can heal, which is nice. Let's come over here and grab this other treasure chest. What have we got? Gold Needle. I believe that cures petrification? Let me see. I'm sorry that I'm in menus all the time, but you're just gonna have to get used to that because it's a Final Fantasy game and you're in menus a lot. Gold Needle. Restore stone status. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Let's continue on. Oh wait, is there any more down here? Ooh. Come up here. I think there's another treasure chest up here. What have we got? Ah, uh, these again. God, Edward does, like, no damage. Oh well. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. He hasn't been hit, so that's nice. Oh god. So I'm not running away from any of these fights, because Edward really needs the levels. So I'm gonna try and level him up as much as I can. Oh, what's down here? Is this a door? That is a door. Okay. We're gonna continue over this way then. Because I don't want to make the same mistake I did last time and just miss an entire area. Because missing an area again would suck, because I don't like backtracking. Don't like backtracking unless it's absolutely necessary. God damn. I have to heal again. Edward leveled up again, but he's not really... Uh... Getting any useful stats at all. His speed went up. Yay. Uh, let's just cure everyone. Just to be safe. It's way better than cure, and you may as well just use the best version of the curing spell you have. Anything new? No, it's not. It's weird, I know there's more than this, these two sets of enemies. Oh, two treasure chests, nice. Another tent, and an enemy again. So many goblins, it's weird. There really, there should be, like, more variety in this dungeon. Like, I know there is, it's so weird. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. It is not letting up on these encounters. Why is the game chugging like this? That's... man. I guess some dungeons are just gonna do that, eh? That's shitty. Yeah, that room in the back... Yeah, that room we were just in, uh, there's another door in here that circles back into the bottom part of that room, so we're not gonna 100% that just yet. You have to wait a bit. Uh, just wanna make sure I miss anything. I can't remember where this goes. I'm gonna go in here. So, as a quick note, in that battle, uh, I got Edward to do his bard song. And he was the first character to get his ATB up, so I could use his move first. 
and the Bard Song took so long, he took so much damage, and the enemy died before he could use it. So, that's, that's what we're dealing with with Edward. He's just not that good. Not yet, anyway. He needs way faster, like, Bard Song times. Anyway, let's go in here. I think there's just treasure chests in here, yeah. Cool. But I'm also not sure if there's a secret in here, so I'm gonna just scan the walls too. After I equip him with the Lamia, huh? Pretty sure there's a secret somewhere in here. If there's not, then there's not. Okay. It just seems like the kind of room that there would be one. Because you never know. Oh, new enemies! Holy shit! Uh, Bard Song. Ooh, uh, Lullaby. Sure, why not? 62 damage! Oh man. Work. Oh, it worked. Holy shit. I didn't actually think it was gonna work. How much damage does that do? Nothing, and it wakes them up. That's good. Looks like they're weak to just physical damage. I'm just gonna attack them all. Actually, what does the Lamia Hop do in terms of status effect? Confusion! Nice! It just stops it from doing stuff for a little while. Cool. I'm glad there's a new enemy at least. I guess it's because we're on the next floor. Oh, and Cecil leveled up from that. And his HP went up actually quite a bit. That's not too bad. And Edward's strength, stamina, intellect, and spirit went up. Okay. I'm not really sure what he needs is the problem. Also, I think he needs healing, so I'm just going to use a potion, because using Cura all the time on you is just a wasted effort. So let's continue on. I'm not sure if that room counts as the part of the map percentage either. I'm going to need to use an Aether on Radio in a sec. Actually, I might as well use it now. And that was an Antarctic Wind, which is just casting Blizzard as a non-magic user. Uh, oh, wait, no, I'm fucking Ether. Come on. There we go. Because a lot of these things in here are weak to Blizzard, so... I'm just spamming it a bunch. So really you can one-shot those Aventoises now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What the fu- Oh, new- uh, new enemies. Again. I, I guess. We'll just use Blizzard on these. Again, these are just, like, sponges for damage. Oh, I guess Cecil can do quite a bit of damage to him. What about Rydia? Can Rydia kill them? Yes, she can. Huh. They seem weaker than the red ones. That's interesting. But I think Edward took a fucking ton of damage again. He did. Awesome. May as well heal everyone. This... I'm gonna go in here. This door leads back into the room. So we should get 100% in this room. See, as I was saying, we should get 100% in this room. There we go. Den 1 complete. Obtained 5 potions. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the way you're supposed to go. I think. Yeah, this is the way you're supposed to go. No, it's not. This is just a resting area. Awesome. So we'll grab these treasure chests. Phoenix down. Probably won't need a Phoenix down. Oh, actually we might because we've got Edward. Emergency exit, which we will be using at the end of this. And Ether. Nice. Now, I don't think there's a secret in here. I just want to check just to be sure. Because it's hard to tell in some caves because it could be hidden like this, like behind here. In here? Nope. 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 I don't think there is. That's okay. We need a tent. Because we have a fucking ton of them now. Where is it? Tent. And by ton, I mean seven. Even so, it's a lot for this point in the game. <sighs> I'm gonna continue on. Let's see if we can keep going. Hopefully without too many more random encounters, too. I want to at least finish off this section, and I'll probably head back to the rest point, and then I'll end the episode there. I just want to at least finish this part of the map. 
Get some more treasure chests. So far, so good. Oh, uh, of course. Edward leveled up again after that battle. And they all... All the fucking enemies focus fired Edward too. I'm really sick of that happening. Where enemies just go after one specific... Uh, person in your party. How the fuck do I get down there? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Over here. Where, you know, the staircase was that I came up from. Just go that way, and I should be fine. I'm gonna see if Life's Anthem works, uh, outside of battle. It doesn't. That sucks. That's okay, we just use Rydia. There we go. It's kind of weird that Bard songs don't work outside of battle. It doesn't really make any sense. It's a song. Why can't he play one outside of battle? At least I'm getting good XP for this. I think we're nearly done with this map, too. Just a little bit more. Ah, oh, there we go. What do we get? Three Phoenix Downs. Nice. Hopefully... Oh, wait. Don't I already have the Shadow Blade equipped? Why do they give you a second Shadow Blade? I guess in case you missed it the first time? I'm not really sure how you would miss it. Oh, I suppose it is out of your way a little bit to get it in the last dungeon, but... I don't see why you wouldn't already have it. That's weird. I'll just... I guess you just use it to sell. No, oh well. Whatever. Not too bad, really. And last treasure chest. Ice Rod. Again. Again. Why would you not already have this? Oh, well. Anyway, guys. I'm gonna... End it off here, and in the next episode, we'll continue with the Antlion Den. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!